Hey guys, Classic Music Machine here. I'm DJ Swag. Um, wanted to bring you guys a, a quick haul that I had today. I think it's I think it's seven or eight seven or eight records that I picked up. Um, all of them were one dollar, with the exception of one. So just kind of wanted to share a few of those with you. Um, the first one that I've got is uh, is Crosby, Stills and Nash, Allies. Um, I am actually not familiar with this album, although it does have Dark Star on it, which which I I like Dark Star. I think it's a great song. Um, I'm not sure if this might be a live album. Um, like I said, I'm not familiar with it. I haven't listened to it. But anytime I see Crosby, Stills and Nash, um, I, I I don't I can't say I usually grab it because I've I've got all of their stuff. But anytime I see something that's Crosby, Stills and Nash, I always kind of oh curiosity. What what is that? And this is in great shape. It's like it's brand new. Um, even the inner sleeve is is darn near perfect. So um, one dollar can't go wrong. Next album. Three Dog Night, It Ain't Easy. Um, not a big, I, I'm not a big Three Dog Night fan. Um, but again, when I find something that, you know, this is, I mean, this album's, I think this is probably 69 or 70. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably showing my ignorance there. Come on, show me where it's what you are. Uh, ooh. Looks like 19, look, yeah, I don't know. Three Dog Night, <laughs> it ain't easy. Um, Mama Told Me Not To Come, of course, everybody's probably heard that one on the radio. Um, Woman, I don't, I don't know any of these darn songs, but again, it's Three Dog Night, how bad can it be? This is, and, and an album like this, I like to take albums like this, and I'll go in my back room, I'll turn down the volume, or I'll put on... Uh, put on my headphones and I'll just take I'll just take 30 minutes one evening and I'll drink a cup of coffee or like on a Sunday morning I'll go down and I like to play an album that I've never listened to before and it's funny because I've discovered some really really great music doing doing things that way uh, so again not familiar with it three dog night it ain't easy you guys can make fun of me because I don't know about it in the comments below um, next song up Elton John Honky Tonk Chateau. I've got the camera at kind of a funny angle today. Um, but uh, on this one, you got Honky Cat. You've got Rocket Man. Uh, Amy, Hercules. This is pretty cool. And also, again, old, old album. When is it from? Because I don't know. But it's old. This is, hey, this is old. But um, anyway, even the, the, little, the little fold back here is in good shape. It is a gatefold, um, so everything's in real good condition. So again, regardless, when I see stuff, this is 1972, by the way. I was one year old. Um, so when I find stuff like this, a lot of times, if it's in good condition, and that's and that's really when you're looking at old albums. Obviously, the artist and, and the music that's on it, but but condition, condition, condition. Um, it's very important. And, and so if you find an old album, you're not even sure about it, but it's in good shape. Man, I'll pick it up. Elton John. How can you go? How can you go wrong with Elton John? Um, next album we found for a dollar is Molly Hatchet, "Flirting with Disaster," and this is an album that, that you'll see out there a little bit. But usually, when when I do find this album, they usually want anywhere from four to eight bucks for it. Um, if it's in like perfect condition, it might be eight to ten dollars. But so for a dollar and, and the vinyl. The vinyl's in pretty good shape. It still has the original sleeve inside. It's got a couple real, I don't know if you can see them there. It's got a couple real shallow scratches on it. Um, but I'm, I'm sure I'm sure it'll play right through it. So again, Molly Hatchet, Flirting with Disaster. Couldn't pass that one up for a buck. Don't have it. Um, here's the other Crosby, Stills, and Nash that I bought. And um, it's actually got the the uh, the gold record seal on it which is cool again in really really clean condition it's a gatefold um obviously in nice shape and i i do have this album but because it was in such good condition that's why i went ahead and bought it um what does this album have on here let's see man i'm really looking like a newbie today 
Sweet Judy Blue Eyes. Let's see. Marrakesh Express. Wooden Ships. Wooden Ships is my favorite song by Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Although there are, there are, I like Woodstock. I like Ohio. Uh, but, but Wooden Ships is my very favorite song by those guys. Um, long time gone. So again, how, how do you go wrong with this thing, man? Um, and this, this is another one. Just a great, just real easy listening. Um, I love that kind of mood music um, where you can kind of just it's just very chill and low-key I mean I listen to metal and I listen to to R&B and dance music and disco and stuff like that and stuff like that's great but when I'm just chilling out and relaxing maybe doing dishes or something like that man I, I love putting on some Crosby Stills and Nash my camera's shaking a little bit um, don't worry about that oh the camera that's my head sorry uh, but uh, yeah Crosby Stills and Nash Bonnie Raitt, stuff that's just real low-key. Um, uh, Jackson Brown has an album called For Every Man, and man, I love that album. But uh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Next album we got for a buck is Journey, and this is actually, this is an early record because it still has Greg Raleigh in it. Um, Greg Raleigh, I, I can't remember if he quit the band or if he was if he was kicked out of the band, um, I think he quit the band, if I'm not mistaken. It does have it does have Steve Perry, so it is a little bit later. Um, Greg Raleigh was the keyboard player and the singer for for the initial. And, and by the way, if you don't know, um, Greg Raleigh and Neil Sean they were in Santana. Um, so those two guys, they were actually <laughs> they were in San, the band Santana, and uh, and I guess that's how they met and they started playing and then they formed Journey out of that. A lot of that early Journey stuff, to me, has a, a real kind of Santana sound to it. Um, and I think that's probably how they got the name Journey, because it's 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 kind of taking you on a little bit, you know, how that how Santana, he'd just go on those guitar solos. So a lot of that early stuff kind of like that. Um, this is Journey Departure, and, uh, and on this album you have Any Way You Want It. Uh, let's see. Uh, flower, good morning, girl. Stay a while. Homemade love, people and places, any way you want it. Obviously, uh, walks like a lady. Um, those are obviously the two big hits from this album. Um, but I'm actually kind of getting looking forward to, to getting home and, and, and listening to this here because I've got I've got a few of those early Journey albums and I'd never listened to that early Journey before. I was a I was an '80s Journey guy, um, and so. Um, Putting on that early stuff, I was like, wow, this is really, really good. So I'm excited to listen to this one. Um, Don Henley, Building the Perfect Beast. Um, on this album, you've got uh, Boys of Summer, probably one of his best songs. Um, not Enough Love in the World, which was a top 40 hit, if I'm not mistaken. Um, All She Wants to Do Was Dance, which was a top 40 hit. Sunset Grill. The two songs I like on this album are Boys of Summer and Sunset Grill. Um, we had a little bar back when I was 21, 22, 23. We had a bar here in Tulsa, and it was called Sunset Grill. And man, I used to I used to hang out down there, and just a just a good time. And so anytime I hear that song, it takes me right back to that particular memory. Um, I already had this album, but but again, if I find a clean copy of something, usually what I'll do is I'll I'll go and I'll grab it. Um, and original inner sleeve, by the way, I'll, I'll grab it and uh, and then I'll kind of compare my two copies and I'll either give one up, give one away or or uh, I'll sell it, um, sell the other copy. But um, again, th this one had the inner sleeve and and one other little kind of tip is, is that a lot of people that took care of their records. A lot of times, and you can see this is this is the slot where you actually insert the record. And if that's pointing out, um, in other words, let me put this back in here. You can reach directly in the slot and pull the album out. Um, that's the way most records you find are. However, people that were I've come to find if people were a little more anal about their stuff, if it, if you find a record and it's actually in like this, then that usually means it was a little bit better taken care of. Um, now, some of your 
retailers or your resellers, I should say, you know, if they're if they're doing their due diligence, they're pulling the album out, they're looking at it. Um, but a lot of times, what they're doing is they're buying in lots. Um, they're going in and they're buying a collection of 500 records, and some of them won't take the time to pull out and inspect each album. They'll just take a pricing gum and pop, 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 you know, and put a buck on each. And so a lot of times, you know, the, the record you're looking at hasn't been pulled out since the original person was playing it back in 1985. In this case, I think it was 85, 84. Um, so just a little tip there. If you find them and they're actually inserted like that, um, where you can't just go directly in and pull the album out, by and large, they're usually in a little bit better condition. Um, last but not least, um, I did spend a little bit more money on this one. This is Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Um, this is actually his first album, and it's a little it's got a little bit of, of wear there uh, on the cover. The album's in pretty good condition. It's not it's not excellent, but it's in pretty good condition. But the great thing about this one is, is that it is on a, on the Shelter label. Um, this was the first album he ever produced, and, and if you guys didn't know, he Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, they initially signed with Shelter Records. Um, I'm from Tulsa. Shelter had, Shelter was, was Leon Russell's label. Um, and so there's some local ties there. Um, Denny Cordell, uh, he, was, he was the producer on this album, and he was in Tulsa a lot. Um, I think Denny Cordell, actually, they were, um, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, they, they were actually on their way, you know, they're from Gainesville, Florida. They were on their way from Gainesville to L.A. to try to get a record deal. And I think somehow Denny was able to intercept them, um, and he got them to stop over in Tulsa. And, and the, the local story is that's where he actually signed them. So, um, obviously, I think they were signed to, uh, I think they were signed to, they've got two different albums signed um, that they recorded on, on the Shelter label. So, and later, released later on, uh, on, I can't, was it was a Capital, I think they were on. Um, but release label later on a different label, but I like the fact that it's on the shelter label. So I paid twelve dollars for this one, uh, ten dollars. I'm sorry, I probably overpaid for it slightly. Um, but these these Tom Petty records, they've really after he passed away in 2017, they've really kind of gone up in value. Um, so any, anytime you run across one, you don't see a ton of them. Uh, you don't see a lot of the Tom Petty and the Heartbreaker stuff. Um, and I, I don't have every album of his, but I do have a solid um, five or six albums. So, so usually if, if you see one, you'll see him. You don't see him a ton. Usually you will pay anywhere from 10 to $15, $16 for him. Um, but but I'm, I'm pretty excited to have this one. Um, this does have Breakdown. Breakdown's my second favorite song um, by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. But uh, American Girl, which... A lot of people think feel like American Girl is the best song he ever recorded. Um, I'm I'm not a huge I like American Girl. I'm not a huge fan of it. But uh, seeing if there was anything else on here that you guys would recognize, um, no, I don't see anything off the top of my head. But anyway, that's it for today, guys. Um, appreciate you guys watching. Um, please put some comments down below if you have questions. Ask questions. And again, I am. Um, I'm doing some starting some reaction videos. So if you have a song that you would like me to react to, to listen to and react to, please put it in the comments below and uh, I'll be happy to give it a listen and, and see how I feel about it. Thanks guys. Have a good one.